hi welcome or welcome back to my channel um, thank you to my return subscribers and if you are new here you're more than welcome um, but don't forget to subscribe and like my videos <laughs> I do really appreciate it so let's get into what your reading is all about today um, there's a strange it feels strangely calm today almost like that means something's gonna happen something's gonna change it's like a storm is brewing and something else I found these cards they're like angel cards I don't usually work with angel cards and stuff but I've had these for a very long time and I found them in a box of stuff like old stuff and it's interesting because today is the dark moon so that's like the day before the, the new moon before the beginning of a new cycle and it's like the final push of things that you want to release you know if there was any challenges around anything you wanted to release from the full moon then today is the day where it will funnel that out <laughs> so if you're feeling emotional today or reflective today or you've got a lot on your mind today it could be because of that happening because this new cycle that we're moving into is all about um, shedding of old beliefs um, moving into the new so it can represent you know as this time of year you can see the leaves starting to change on the trees so it represents like a shedding you know we're starting to let go to move into the winter so I'm going to see what one of these messages says today. Just because they're nice, aren't they? They can give a nice message and sometimes they can be spookily spot on with where you're at right now. Look after yourself today. It says you give so much of yourself to help and please other people that you sometimes forget that giving other people happiness and peace of mind can lower your own resistance to stress and fatigue. Well, the first thing there is... You are not responsible for anybody else's happiness. You cannot make another person happy. Only they can make themselves happy. You can um, add to somebody's happiness, but you can't make them anything. Even the angels take the time to rest now and again in order that they can help us to their fullest capacity when called on, and they want to do the same. Take some you time today. Try to switch off from other people's worries and relax in whatever way you can to replenish your energy levels. Tomorrow is another day. Okay. So it is Sunday, <laughs> you maybe want to have a bit of a rest day today, maybe relax, chill out. There is a calmness to today, of surrender is the word I want to say, it's like some kind of surrender is, is happening today. So let's see what the animal cards are talking about. I would laugh so much if the card came out as surrender. <laughs> I'd be like, right, I should be a millionaire right now. We have our spirit and wisdom. So. This is what's happening today. You are becoming wise to something. You are learning from your experiences, which is helping you to grow in wisdom. You know, you're not just having the experience, you're actually learning from the experiences. And for many of you, you've gone through so many cycles of the same thing over and over that you've actually reached a point now where you're like, you're either recovering from it quicker or you're actually ready to, colla to, colla uh, to collapse it. Oh, maybe some of you aren't, or you, you think you are, but you're not quite, because <laughs> that was a struggle to get that word out there. Now, for some of you, this is about security and safety in your life, you know, feeling secure and safe, and having the wisdom to know what brings you safety and security at this time. The owl there, it's all about seeing in the darkness, so seeing through the shadow qualities of yourself so it's like when you look at shadow qualities we're looking at like you know um attachments um greed we're looking at jealousy um we're looking at i'm trying to go through all of what they are um yeah i said attachments haven't i before um manipulation that kind of thing you know we're looking at all of these things within ourselves and that's what today is all about is kind of like in for some of you it's actually accepting parts of yourself accepting why you are the way that you are and actually it's okay but knowing when that is a blessing and when it's a curse you know when it's when it's a good attribute and when it, it isn't when it's necessary and when it's not something i always say to my kids is you know when you when you open your mouth to speak when you want to say something think about three things is it kind is it true and is it necessary and if it's neither of those things it's probably best not to really say it 
Okay, let's get into your runes then now. See where your energy is. So we're all about looking after yourself today, being true to yourself and having the wisdom to know what to do for yourself. Boundaries. <clears throat> Boundaries and protecting yourself. So you may be in an energy of wanting to protect yourself, really wanting to nurture yourself. You know, Algis is the kind of energy of like a mother protecting a child. Um, it's connected to the elk, so that it's very family orientated. It's an energy that keeps the balance through protection. So know what you need to protect yourself from <clears throat> and know what you need to nurture. Yeah, because there is movement, there's a change in direction going on in your life and this is a change in direction to do with responsibility. Taking responsibility for actions, taking responsibility for you knowing you're the one that leads and directs the way forward in your life, of where you're going. Nobody else is responsible for that. And taking a risk, taking some kind of chance as well, taking a gamble on this. Now for some of you, especially with that owl there, this is, I'm talking to more the feminines here, this is an energy of you really understanding your feminine power, your ability to uh, work with your feminine qualities to enable positive change in your life. So for some of you, this is actually taking a decision to end something, um, to know your worth and to realize the power that you do have. You know, for some of you, you are moving out of suppressed ways. Um, that could be just for the females. It could be for the masculines here as well. It doesn't have to be necessarily just for the females, but it does feel more like this is about embracing that feminine energy. So if that's something you've been working on, or maybe you've been working on the feminine aspects of yourself, you've been working on that part of yourself recently. I was talking uh, the other day about, you know, the left side and right side of the brain and how, um, you know, we are the dominance of each side being masculine and feminine. So it's like the, the feminine side is more side to side and the masculine side is more front to back. Um, and how, you know, we can be more, the feminine is considered more irrational, whereas the masculine is more rational, that kind of thing. But this is working on the feminine aspects and understanding them and for some of you it's embodying them for some of you it's um, creating a boundary around them okay but there is I just saw radio upside down there there is a so radio like represents the vehicle that you move through life in and if you don't look after your vehicle it ain't gonna go very far you have to get in it you have to understand how it works and I feel like that's how this is for a lot of you, is actually, this is your vehicle, your physical form. Um, when you are embodying this human form, you have to understand how it works, not just on a physical level, but a mental and emotional level as well. Um, if you're always just in the spiritual, you're never really connecting with your body. And for some of you, this is a journey of connecting into your body, understanding your needs, your roles, your responsibilities and then driving that vehicle in that direction that aligns with your values. Okay, let's see. What do we have for you in the tea cards? So your current situation that we're talking about right now, you're a magpie. Great passion. So. I do have this sense of there is some love around you at this time where you're feeling passionate about something in your life. Um, I feel like we're connecting with the lower centres here, so like the root chakra and the sacral chakra as well. So this is like to do with your creativity, your passion, your relationships, but also safety, security and trust as well. So this is what we're talking about today. hidden secrets that can harm you so there may be things hidden within you I feel that you perhaps don't want to tap into at this time maybe that's a little bit scary for you right now 
or maybe that's how you're feeling about yourself but we've also got Bo you are highly thought of so there are people in your corner that do really care about you and they want to be there for you oh whenever I see this one I always see like a mother fussing over a child wanting to make that bow look really nice you know the child's done it themselves and they're like oh that's really sweet but can I just <laughs> so just be aware of that if someone is trying to help you or you know putting themselves forward it may be irritating you or making you feel stifled but just know it's it's out of care they want to help you they think they're helping so you have to communicate to them if you feel that they're not Somebody is behaving stupidly. <laughs> I love this card. <laughs> it's turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. So take it as it resonates. This could be you yourself. Maybe you're telling yourself, oh, I've been really stupid. Or you're feeling somebody around you is not dealing with things in a way that you feel they probably could be or should be. Okay, so what is that all about? I don't know why that card makes me laugh so much, but it does this fast satisfaction with life okay so this could be I feel like somebody keep repeating a pattern and being like why do I keep finding myself here why does this keep happening so you are there's a lot of negative self-talk going on at this time so I feel like this is someone trying to perhaps if this is for you and your dark moon it's about releasing that negative self-talk it's not helping you calling yourself stupid is not helping you Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. So yeah, you do, somebody feels like the weight of the world is on them um, and that people don't like you, people don't appreciate you. So that's going back to Perth Row here, whereas this is embodying that, those feminine aspects within you that are like, you know, like me or don't like me. I am being me and I'm telling the truth, I'm being myself. You know, if people can't deal with that, that's not your problem, it's their problem not yours you're just being you so just keep being honest keep being true and you will move through these anxious times you know if someone's against you that's not on you but they're showing you everything aren't they about them parrot someone will gossip about all your secrets now this may be a fear of yours that someone is against you I've got a feeling that you've maybe just asked for some space from particular people in your life you've asked to have a step back you know just to step away for a bit to have a hot minute and this person is taking that personally um, and maybe is threatening you in some way over like you know oh well I'll tell everybody about this if you if you don't spend time with me or if you if you ignore me I'm gonna come out about this just let it happen whatever it is don't worry about it don't let it stop you from doing what's right for you don't let it stop you from holding healthy boundaries in your life okay because what you find is people like that that tend to go around the houses telling everybody secrets about you or rumors about you and things it always backfires on them you know and the people that are meant to be in your life they won't they won't take it anyway because we have tankard, celebration, fun and enjoyment. This is what you need to focus on right now. What brings you enjoyment? What brings you fun? Now, if you are drinking at the moment, if you are going out a lot with your friends, things like that, just be careful that you don't overdo it. And this is on a financial level as well as um, just sort of like health level too. Um, because sometimes it can make you feel more anxious or down after the event like during the event you're not really thinking about it but don't get into a pattern that's just sort of putting a plaster over where you're at right now if that makes sense oh, psychic ability trust your intuition so your intuition is spot on at the moment what you're seeing you can believe and you right now I feel are aligning with is a person's actions matching their words and anybody that isn't aligning their words with their actions, they're out, they're gone. I feel you, you'll be getting better at spotting that now. Butterfly, a change for the better. So everything that you're doing right now is creating a change for the better. This is a transformation. 
you are taking responsibility for yourself, you're setting healthy boundaries, and you are embodying the healthy feminine attributes, qualities. Um, that is again, whether you are masculine or feminine, you know, for some masculines here, it could be you tapping into your emotional self, your more emotional side, your more creative side. And for the feminines here, again, it could be about you sort of understanding and not suppressing your emotions, you know, allowing yourself to be heard. And we have misunderstanding. I've just realised I don't have any tarot cards out here with me. So this is not a reading with any tarot whatsoever. We're just doing this with the tea cards, which is very interesting because normally I would have tarot cards to follow on this up. So if you did want a reading, I would add tarot cards into this if this resonates with you, okay? Now there's been some kind of misunderstanding which has built a bit of a war up here. Now this may have been you trying to... Um, I feel somebody has been trying to get their point across in a healthy way, in a positive way. You know, you're trying to sort of explain how you feel. But somebody's taking this extremely personally and they may have built some kind of barrier now. Um, they're not letting you in to kind of explain anything. And that might be upsetting for you because you've, you've tried to be there for this person, I feel. But there is news on the way, so things will be resolved. And, you know, it's like, it doesn't matter how high you build the wall up, a bird can fly over it, <laughs> can see everything. Um, but don't try so hard to get through to somebody. If they're not listening and they don't wanna know, they don't wanna know. And that's not on you. That is not a slight on you. Don't take that personal to you. That's about them and where they're at in their life right now, you know? It may be that they're protecting themselves. Perhaps they can't take what you're saying. They can't hear it. Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Okay. So there does feel like there needs to be a situation that is dealt with very carefully. Else you may find that you lose out on some money somewhere to do with that. Okay, an apple. Temptation will test you. Now I feel like the temptation comes through something else. So it's almost like you're trying to set a boundary. Somebody's taking that personally and they don't want you to go off on this journey that you're trying to take. So they will try and tempt you with something. And I feel like there's something to do with money with this person so they may be trying to get you to um, like tempt you in some way because they know that they it's almost like they owe you money maybe um, or you owe them money or something like that but in order to keep that connection going because of the financial thing they are going to try and tempt you in other ways so what do you need to do about that? Okay, so just understand it's a temporary situation, okay? It's a temporary situation, it will be dealt with. Um, somebody may be moving away or moving house here as well, um, which may resolve the issue. Yeah, you're going to be shown the way. You're going to realise what the path is. Now, I feel like this could be around November time that um, you'll see a resolution to the issues that are going on here around money um, and around needing to hold healthy boundaries around a particular person. So it's going to be a couple of months yet before you actually see a resolution to this. But just know there is a resolution to it. It is coming. seahorse family matters 
So people around you, I feel like they are concerned about you, your family are concerned about you, and there may be some things that need resolving within the family. Now it feels to me like this is actually an opportunity for you to plug yourself into something that really does matter to you. Um, not as a distraction, but almost as a way of feeling purposeful, realizing and recognizing what your your purpose is. Yeah, and it's going to lead to victory. You know, you're going to be in a much better place in the next few months. You know, where are we now? September. In the next two to three months, you're going to see such a change in where you're at. Um, now. A lot of that is because of the healing work that you're doing on yourself, all the realizations that you're making, that shadow work that you're doing. And it starts from this particular cycle right now, where you are shedding old beliefs, you're letting go of things that, you know, just don't, they're not necessary anymore. <laughs> and there is some kind of vacation coming up. You are going to be taking, now this could just be taking time away from what you normally do um, but it's good it's beneficial I can see it feels like somewhere near water so that could be a lake or the sea um, but it's peaceful it's very much needed it feels nice it feels good beware of great pride it's saying on here so there may be an opportunity for you to recognize where maybe your pride has got in the way before of you showing your emotion, showing how you really feel about things, you know? So that may sometimes come up in a way of you protecting yourself, but it's not necessary. There's a need for, there is a need for vulnerability here. Dealings or relationship with an older woman. So for some of you, you are going to be Dealing with an older woman, I feel this could be a mother actually, or some kind of family member. And that's what this family matters was about on here. Now I feel like this person is going to get in touch with you. Um, they're gonna wanna mend things with you. They wanna talk to you. Um, they wanna try and put things right. And this is all this is all in alignment with the work that you've been doing on yourself to create more healthy relationships, um, and like healthy lifestyle healthy way of being it's all part of the process it's all part of that journey so when that comes in and i reckon that is in the next couple of months could even be in the next couple of weeks actually for some of you now it's going to create you kind of like being a little bit in a funk mentally like what do i do with this what am i going to do but ask yourself the question what would your younger self have wanted what would the younger version of you would have liked? And take a chance, take, take the chance to just see how things go, see what happens. Okay. Now this person could be getting in touch with you because there's something to do with the law. There's, there may be some kind of um, problem that they've got or issue that they've got. Uh, maybe you have some knowledge about the law or something like that. It feels like they're contacting you because of something that they've got going on. I don't feel this concerns you. I don't feel it involves you. But they want to talk to you about it. And that's why they're getting in touch. Yeah, affairs with your family. So this is definitely to do with um, your family, a mother, I feel, or a, an older female in your family life but this situation is actually going to help things to grow it is an opportunity for growth okay let's see if we've got a final outcome on here because there's a few different threads coming through on this one someone working against you behind your back so again i feel like that comes back to somebody that feels a little bit scorned or um, disgruntled by the fact that you are setting a boundary with them where you didn't before maybe ha huh. and you have money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it so there's a there's something about this this person you need to set boundary with them and kind of 
disconnect because you are going to be coming into some money here or your financial situation is going to change and I feel like this person is going to try and jump on that again when we said there's some kind of connection to do with money with this person so maybe that you perhaps owe them money and they want that money off you or they owe you money and they're going to try and get out of it because they see you you're all right <clears throat> but just know the finale of this is you will have an outcome you will have triumph over what's going on right now okay it's not always going to be like this we had tent before that's a temporary situation it's not always going to be like this you will have triumph over the obstacles that are currently on your path okay it's going to be good yep yeah, things will not always be this way a change is coming a change is coming now I'm going to leave this reading here for you. If that resonates with you and you would like more detail on this, you want to get a little bit deeper into the current situations because there's about three different situations in this that we could discuss further. My details are down in the description box. So please do get in touch for a personalised reading. Um, I also offer cord cuttings, healings. Um, if you want to do a meditation with me, I'm just discussing anything, we can work with the runes and the tarot cards to help pick at threads of, of um, energy within you and sometimes it's as simple as just acknowledging things for you to be able to release it and this is a perfect time um, of a moon cycle to do that so I hope you enjoyed this reading thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon have a blessed day